Hello friends, this is Ducky Assassin and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. We are on the second level. Welcome to Northwoods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It has already it already has several tanks, some decorations, and even a couple of surviving fish. The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. Yeah, so... Cool. Alright, so what are our objectives? Combine science across animals. We need 40. We need to build a tool station. Hire one staff. Okay. So let's hire the staff first. This guy has... Okay, so one thing you want to look for in the very beginning is your staff need to have feeding and fixing. Um, you know, you're basically in the very beginning all you need is people to feed your fish and to fix your equipment. And so make sure whoever you hire has both of them, those skills. So that's that. Build a tool station real quick. That's easy. And now we need science points. So, none of these guys have science points. But this tank's empty. That tank's empty. This tank needs another filter. There. So that tank is kind of full. And that tank's kind of full too. So let's see if we can do just these two empty ones. So what do we got? We have the zebra, moray eel, and the royal grama. Grama? Okay, whatever. So what I like to do here, notice that your zebra morays, their size is a 4 through 9. This means that when you buy them, they are babies, and as they are babies, they will take up four, but when they grow up, they will take a space of nine. So you need to make sure that whatever tank you put them in has at least the space for when they're adults. So this tank here has a size of 15, this one has a size of also 15, okay, so... Hmm... So we can't even do two. Well, that's a shame. But what we can do is do five of these guys, and that'll give us 25. One, two, three, five. Uh, might as well just put them here too. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, that's easy. Alright, cool. Um, okay, we already have water quality issues, so let's expand this a tiny bit. So we can actually put a, another filter here. Before we open. And we're gonna have to do the same thing to this one. All right, we are ready for business. Cool. Good work, the aquarium is restocked and it's open to the public once more. You may have noticed that all the tanks at Northwoods are embedded into the walls. They are called unimaginatively wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via the other. This allows you to keep the equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff door allows your staff through while blocking guests. Great. Um... Nah, it's not gonna really make that much of a difference which one. But... This guy... You can only house one of him. So... Actually, this guy's better. Look, he gives us a lot more science. And he gives us one more prestige, so we'll do him first. So, these decorations are just kind of there. I don't really want them. So, okay. Um, let's do the power combo. So, let's... Oh, we, we okay, we already have objectives. Alright, let's expand this out a little bit. Um, okay, we need a tank of size 3x3. Three Let's do that. Wall tank. Er, three by three. There we go. How big is it? 23. Oh, good. We can build two zebra mores. But for now, no. Go away. Haha, <laughs> now you can't get back there. Alright. Sorry. I got distracted because people were walking where they shouldn't be. Okay, we place our first zebra moray. Um, okay, yeah, basically it's saying what I just said earlier. This is the amount of days 
that it takes to grow, so in four days he'll reach a size of nine. So like I said, we need to make sure that our aquarium size fits the grown-up version. So each one of them will take up nine spaces when they're grown, and we have 23 spaces, so we're good. So before we continue, let's power heater and that. Nicely done! The next stage of Aquarium's expansion is down to you. You'll, ask, you'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales, so keep an eye on your cash flow accessible by clicking on your current funds. I'll be in touch. Cool. Go away. Okay, so let's play. We need to do this. And... They don't have food, so we need muscles. And they need hidey holes, so let's do it. Boom, and boom. There we go, perfect. Alright, well now our objective here is to get 160 prestige. So, let's build it out. I'm not sure what configuration I want to do, so let's just kind of make something up here. Um, Let's take, since this tank is jutting out into the, the road here, let's take our aquarium out that way. Yeah, that'll work. And then we can put a staff over there. Get rid of this wall here. And we'll expand the tank uh, over this way to the right. So, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just make a huge, huge area. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I don't know why you're going over there. There's nothing over there. What is your problem? Rob. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Oh, we have a lot of stuff to work with here. So let's, um, oh yeah, first things first. Just hire all the staff. So, hmm. What do we do? I don't know what to do. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Let's do another wall tank. Let's do it here. Mm. Uh, I don't know. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. So right here is fine. But we're gonna have to expand this a little more. So we have room for the filters. Okay. We'll fast forward that. <clears throat> Alright. Filter. Heater. And who do we want? We can fit 30 fish in here. Okay. This is annoying. Get over here. Get over there. There. Okay, yeah, that'll work nicely. And then we can just have the tanks along this wall and along this wall, and we're good. Alright, so... Let's do... Hmm... Let's do a couple of these guys, boom, boom, boom. Let's do some of these guys, boom, boom, boom. Let's do some of these guys, boom, boom, boom. And what else can we add? Oh, we can add a couple of these guys. How much space do we have? Yeah, let's see. Boom, boom. there, we'll put some rubble, and we'll put some plants, oh yeah, look, that's looking good, oh yeah, look at that, that is the best aquarium tank I have ever seen, hey, coral grouper, a fast growing fish that can be trusted with smaller tank mates, this grouper can't, can't be trusted, that is a very, very important distinction, 
cannot be trusted with smaller tank makes. This Gruber wants to know what everyone else tastes like. Cool. Hey, you've just unlocked the Coral Grouper. Let's take a look. The Coral Grouper has a couple of care requirements you haven't seen before. They are greedy, which means they eat more and lower your water quality more than other animals. They dislike conspecifics, which means they can only be kept one per tank, basically. Uh, finally, they may eat basically small fish and crustaceans. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let's do let's do the configuration like this. We'll put a bench. We'll do a bench. A uh Okay, good. I was waiting for that. So what the configuration we'll use is we'll put a bench and a staff door and then the tank and then the same configuration. That way it'll give us kind of like a good flow of everything and then people can sit down. So I'm going to do that real quick. Just add some tanks, and then we're, we're going to fill them up slowly as we kind of go along. So, give me just a second here. Alrighty, we're back here, and I've just added four tanks with the configuration I mentioned. Um, a bunch of benches and some doors. So let's get filling these guys. One thing we're going to have to do first is just put these filters on all of them. This power combo is nice because... You know, if you have two separate machines here, they can both break down, and then your people have to fix two of them. Whereas if you just have this one, well, you know, that's half the machines, so it's half the time your guys have to be running around to, you know, fixing things. Anywho's... Okay, what do we got to work with here? Um, oh, well, so what I'm doing when I'm hovering over these real quickly, or really quickly, is I'm looking to see how many I have. And you can see that here, this this number here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm looking to see which fish I don't have because I want to build those first. As you can see, I don't have any coral groupers, so let's do him. So notice, he cannot be housed with other coral groupers, and he can also not be housed with small fish. And so basically what that means is we're going to have one of him in a tank. So let's just put him there. And he needs a hiding place. Hey, Flame Angel. The Flame Angel fish dislikes conspecifics, conspecifics, which means they may only be kept one per tank. Okay, cool. So we need a hidey place for this guy. And also what I like to do is I like to build the food dispensers. Uh, okay. I'm interrupted once more. Impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven you're ready for even more advanced aquarium design techniques. Uh, it's time to, learn, time to learn about pumps. I'm not going to read that. Basically, what happened? <clears throat> basically, what... I'm not going to read that, but basically what uh, this is saying is you can put a tank in the middle of somewhere and... Okay, well, I'm not going to explain it. The picture basically tells you. You put your pumps and stuff over here and your filters and then you can remotely access it that way you can put stuff I'm not explaining this well let's just build one okay I unlock the pump build it okay well I build all this stuff now I need to build a lagoon tank I kind of forgot about that so let's just do that real quick actually um, all right we're gonna have to change this configuration up a little bit What we'll do is we'll build a lagoon tank, I guess right here, make it a little bigger. And then let's make the wall, we can make it, I'm giving it a two block space all around the aquarium, so let's just do that real quick. And then when we build a pump, you can see here that we can connect it and now all you need to do is build your filters right next to this pump um, it doesn't matter which configuration as long as it's next to it and bam look at that okay we need another heater now let's just build another one of these there we go perfect with any animal let's just build this guy hey look we won alrighty our guests are thirsty we have vending machines now to build so before we do that, let's build some of this. There we go. Looks great. 
Now we built some rubble. Oh man, look at that. Doesn't that look like the ocean? Man. Okay. Three vending machines, it is. Uh, oh, I didn't plan for this. Well, let's just do one right here, one right here. And... I guess we don't have anything over here, so let's build one right there. Oh, we ranked up! It's wonderful! We got kelp, rocky overhanging, and a bunch of fishies. Let's do it. Congratulations on reaching rank 4. Among the new animals you can unlock at this rank are the, fir are the first crustaceans. This blue knuckle hermit crab is a great support animal because it doesn't need feeding and actually provides additional filtering. You now have your final objective. You may also reach optional objectives from thir third parties. Or, sorry, receive optional objectives from third parties. In return for, for fulfilling certain requirements, they'll offer you a reward. It's completely up to you whether you want to do that, but whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, yeah, let's do the crustaceans. Um, okay, so now all we need to do is reach um, this prestige. So I guess first thing we can do is build up this aquarium. But we don't have a bench anywhere over here, so let's do that. Um, so... We had one of these guys, and that's fine. Um, we only have three of these guys. And there's plenty of space, there's 56, so let's just build, or buy, I, I keep saying build. We don't build fish, we buy them. So I'm just gonna get two of each of these guys. And then when we unlock the Hermit Crab, we can throw them in there. So... Okay, we got this grouper hanging out there, and his tank looks a little bare, so let's fix that. Uh, uh, uh. I like to fill their tanks completely with decorations, because as you can see, each decoration does give you some prestige points. So, you know, you might as well take advantage of all the space you have, which... Speaking of, I didn't. I have empty space here. Um, yeah, whatever. That's fine. So, we really need to just unlock new fish to put in our tanks. So, we're gonna break here. We're not gonna break here, but I'm gonna basically just wait around until I unlock the hermit crab. So, I'll see you here in a second. Hooray! New animals unlocked. The Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab. This dwarf species is a real gem. A hardworking scavenger who plays nice with other tank mates. A group of these hermit crabs makes an ideal tank cleanup crew. Cool. So what we really need is prestige points. So let's get this guy because he gives us the most amount of prestige points. Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab. The Blue Knuckle Hermit Crab is a crustacean. Many fish eat crustaceans, so be careful. So, what do we have? We got... Oh, we have plenty of room. So let's build some hermit crabs in here. One, two, three, four. Five. Look at them! They are so cool. Oh, yeah. I wish I could get closer to you, but I can't because I'm about three feet tall. Oh, well. But there have you. So... Man, yeah. Really... Once you have, like, a basic setup here, it's kind of just a waiting game, because, you know, you can't just build the same fish in all of these, um, enclosures, because what the people, if you look at your, your guest thoughts here, you can actually see him, oh, I've already seen this, I've already seen that, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, if I just had these eels in every single tank they'd walk around and they'd see the first eel and be like wow that's cool but then they'd walk around to the other ones and say wow well I've already seen that this sucks this is the most boring aquarium I've ever been to so yeah it's just really a waiting game for you to unlock all these fish and then you know put them in tanks um, but what I like to do as I have done right here is build a basic setup and just have the tanks already there and ready that away when I um, unlock the fish I can just throw them in there and you know it's pretty good so I'm anticipating that I will not have to build any more tanks I might have to make one more but 
um, I think this is going to be enough. So, yeah, we're going to wait here for a second until I unlock this cowfish. And, um, yeah, see you in a second. Alright, guys, what I've done here is I've added... Um, I did unlock the cowfish, and I added three of them in here. And, you know, put the decorations up and whatever, and... Okay, well, it went down already, but as soon as I did this, my prestige shot up to like 305. So, I am anticipating when I add one more tank here, and this, these are the guys I'm going to add, this fox face rabbit fish. It should be enough to get me to 350. So, I'll join you here in a second when I unlock these guys and get the tank set up. Alright guys, I have this tank set up now um, with the fox-faced rabbit fish. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. And one thing I forgot to, or one thing I've been neglecting is if you go into your inbox here, there is actually this uh, quest. Howdy, I found this load of junk washed up in the seafront. I thought you might be able to use it for your tanks. Uh, sure, I'll take it off your hands. The reason this is important is because... Um, where do I actually access these things? Is it here? Huh. Um, I don't know where to access these decorations. Hmm. Oh, delivery. Okay, here we go. One thing to note is that each of these decorations does give you some prestige points. So we might as well just throw them into this tank. Wow, I'm impressed. When I look at that tank, I am transported to another time. This morning, actually, when I found that pile of junk on the beach. Now that's art. There's plenty more where that came from. I'll supply you with as much as you need, subject to a small handling fee. I also have some paint available which you can use to decorate your walls, floors, and tanks. You'll find it in the decoration section of the build menu. Alright. Well, that's great. So, so yeah, as you notice, each one of these decorations gives some prestige points uh, when a guest looks at it. So that definitely helps you reach your total. And unfortunately here it does look like we've kind of stagnated. I'm not exactly sure what's going on so what I'm gonna do is build another tank with stuff in it. So um, yeah let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Alrighty so I've added a, another tank here and what I added in here is these reef squirrel fish. Uh, notice these are also shoulders, so they need to be built. They need to be bought and placed in a tank with at least four. Um, so I do have four of them in here, and our prestige is at 326. So hopefully, if we just wait a little bit, it'll go up to 350. So I'm going to wait for a couple minutes and see how high it does get. Um, we may or may not have to add more fish in some of these tanks or expand to add one more tank. So let's give it a couple of minutes and see how high our prestige goes. Alrighty, finally. I had to wait maybe about two or three minutes, but we finally got to the, um, well, we finally won. You have accomplished a lot here at Northwoods. When you arrived, it was dilapidated. You were stocked and reinvested your profits and transformed it into the oppressive aquarium you see before you. Another job offer has come in, it's time to, it, this time from a private collector in Elmshorn, looking for an architect to design their dream aquarium. You can continue to build here or leave. Well, you know me, it's time to leave this aquarium, and unfortunately it's time to leave this episode. So, that was good. Um, this game, you know, it's, it's not that exciting. It's not an exciting game, but it definitely is a nice, enjoyable game, especially if you like simulators. Um, and I like fish, so this is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a double positive for me. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed watching me play. I enjoyed playing and watching you watch me play. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you join me next time, and have a great day.